All right, finally, so in these videos, we've gone from, we've learned how to make an acid chloride from a carboxylic acid. We've turned that acid chloride into various things. Um, we can make anhydrates from that. We can make esters from that. Um, one of the things we're gonna, as we go down the mountain here, um, we have an ester to an amine. Now this is a little tougher. Um, you can do this without acid catalyzed or uh, you can do a base catalyzed as well sometimes, but a lot of times this takes forcing conditions. So I'm just gonna show this in neutral conditions for you all today. So what's gonna happen? The amine is gonna be my nucleophile or it's gonna do an addition. So again, these are neutral conditions. So overall neutral charges, so addition. And you can force these things to go by having a lot of this around, right? And maybe you distill off this, remove this somehow. But if you have a lot of this, you can force this reaction to go without an acid or a, a base to catalyze it. So we get a tetrahedral intermediate. We balance our charges. We're gonna do a proton transfer. And really, you know, some might say, well, why would this ever happen? Um, again, it's some of these forcing conditions can make these things happen. But having a lot of one of our starting materials around, um, we can get this to go. So let's just do the elimination. Electrons come down. Rather have an O minus than an N minus. O minus is more stable than N minus. And then we can see We balance our charge, we have an O minus here, which of course then can do the deprotonation, which I showed in two steps here, to get us to our final product. Um, but a neutral condition way, and this is you know not an easy way thing to do necessarily, but again, it is still downhill. Uh, esters are more reactive than amides because amides, right, can do more resonance. Nitrogen is less electric negative. Nitrogen also pulls less, so this carbon is less reactive than an oxygen one. Um, so just things to think about as we think about the reactivity of all these carboxylic acid derivatives.